When I applied to college, I knew I wasn't gonna oh, yeah. What is up guys, Thaddeus here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. In today's video guys, it's gonna be more of like a less job should be video, but it's just kind of going over why I decided to drop out of college after my first year. And basically kind of giving you guys the, like the scenario I was in at the time, the situation I was in, and just my thoughts on the overall like education system in general. Basically guys, if you don't know, uh, I went to college for one year. I was on, uh, I went to college for one year down in California, and then my family at the time currently lived in Washington, right? They still do. And I was back on summer break. Because of that, I was, you know, broke college kid trying to figure out how to make money online. And, you know, that's when I was already kind of in the space in e commerce and whatnot, but it was just like, you know, finally like drop shipping and first starting to kind of get traction with drop shipping, um, you know, with Shopify and all that. And basically, when I applied to college, I knew I wasn't gonna last, you know, four years um, in that in that in that kind of space. So basically, my my kind of whole mindset was like, okay, I need to do something to get me out of college. Like, I need a reason so that I can leave college and do what I actually want to do. Besides, you know, sitting in class lectures and um, just learning about stuff that I personally wasn't interested in, and I knew I personally wouldn't really want to use or need to use in the future. Um, but basically, guys, I basically took a break from college, right? I had to convince my parents, my family, and all of them to actually like let me uh, not go to school, right? Which is a big step, especially for your parents. I know a lot of you guys, you know, that are young or, you know, about to go to college or in college, um, you know, don't necessarily want to be there. And a big reason why you're still there is definitely family, right? Because again, you like, you care about what they think of you. You, you know, want to be a good, you know, example um, for your parents and whatnot. But with today and technology, guys, you can, <laughs> you can do anything you can learn anything online right and that sounds very very cliche but this is like this is the problem right this is basically why i won like the argument that i've always held with my parents and stuff when i was trying to like convince them to let me take a break from school let me take a break from college and basically what i had to like kind of explain to them right is the internet is 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 like a baby right it's, it's literally not that new okay it wasn't around you know as like at the state of it is like 10 years ago right it wasn't it wasn't anything like what it is now 10 years ago okay um and basically our parents like my parents and stuff they grew up in this like, like literally a whole new world okay so they they grew up going to school and like requiring degrees to get jobs right because first of all if you wanted to own your own business back then what that kind of situation typically looked like was one, you needed a lot of money to actually buy a piece of land, okay? Because there was no such thing as internet. There's nothing online that you could start back then, okay? So they needed a lot of money to start something to literally buy a property and build something like a brick and mortar, okay? That was basically like starting a business back then, okay? Is that, you know, now like you can start a business with zero money. Like technically, technically you could be an entrepreneur or a business owner with zero dollars, like spending nothing, right? which is kind of like what what's available today and like in, in everyone's kind of a situation. But basically what I had to tell my parents, right, is that back then, right, if you wanted to become a successful business owner, you had to start a brick and mortar, okay? And if you wanted to be really, really successful, brick, like really successful, not brick and mortar owner, but business owner, right? You had to basically expand your business, you know, as fast as you could, but you couldn't expand it as fast as you can today, right? So basically, for example, like take this, take this, um, basically say you were like a McDonald's or you wanted to open like a bakery, right? Cause that, cause you wanted to like be a business owner back then, right? You would have to get a property, build an actual building, okay? Choose a location, right? Cause you can't, you can't target the whole world. No, no, it's, there's nothing, there's nothing online, right? So you had to choose a good location so that you can get good traffic in, you start getting good word of mouth and start doing, you know, um, whatever as they did back then, right? And that was kind of like how you would start your business, right? You had to spend a lot of money up front just to basically have something there, okay? And then just from that, right, you had to bring, like find a way to bring money in, okay, consistently in your location, okay, in your in your, in your little you know, spot in the world. And from there, right, if you wanted to expand, right, you needed money to actually build another location, right? That's how you expanded in, in this kind of, like in that space back then, right? You had to actually expand your business to a different location to reach a different audience, a different market, okay? So what that means is that you could literally be, you know, working at that bakery for five, 10 years before you even have the money to buy another property, buy another piece of land, build another building, okay? Build another bakery, um, choose a good location, right? You don't want to choose a bad location, you're not gonna make any money. And then, 
Now you have two locations, right? Now it might only take you, you know, two and a half years instead of the five years it took you to save up that money, assuming both are profitable and both are doing well. Um, you know, two and a half years instead of that five because you have two locations now to build a third location, okay? So that's how you would expand a business kind of back then. Now what I explained to my parents, right, when I was trying to convince them to let me take a break, right? I had no intention of going back to college, but they obviously wanted me to stay in school. They didn't really see, you know, the possibilities with uh, like making money online until I was literally like making like more than my mom. Um, but basically I had to explain like, okay, I can start a business with zero money, okay? Basically, essentially like zero dollars, okay? Um, I can sell things that I don't even own. I don't need to keep inventory. I don't need to buy a property. I don't need to, you know, spend anything hugely, you know, upfront to make things happen. I don't need to spend a lot of money um, just to like make more money right away, like when you're first getting your foot in the door, okay? Because one, it does take money to make money, but getting started doesn't require a lot of money, okay? That's that's kind of the gist of it, right? And basically I was telling my mom, I was like, I can target the whole world. I can target any location I want, okay? If I'm trying to sell bracelets to people in Dubai who are, you know, have a net worth of over a million dollars, like I can do that without having to ever touch foot in Dubai, without ever having to even hold the bracelet that I'm selling. Like that's what I can do, you know, online. And that's why I think with like technology and everything these days is that you you have so many more like possibilities, right? And you can learn anything online. You can literally, this is what I use a lot. You can literally go to YouTube and type in Harvard marketing lecture and literally watch people that have spoken at Harvard talk to these students who go to Harvard about marketing, right? Free education, like it's like internet university, guys. Like you can learn anything if you have, you know, the drive and the will to actually do hours and hours and hours of research online and not just, you know, drop out of school and assume, okay, I can do it all online, but I'm not gonna do anything about it, right? That's not what you wanna do. But basically like my whole thought on the school system is like one, it's it, it needs work, it's nothing like bad. I'm not harping on it or anything. Like again, if, if you wanna be a doctor, if you wanna be a lawyer, if you wanna be anything like that, like you basically need a degree, like you're required to um, get a degree, right? Even for lawyers, like you gotta pass the bar exam, you gotta do a bunch of other this shit. And like doctors need to go to med school for a, a long time, okay? Like I wouldn't want a doctor touching me if they haven't, you know, done X amount of years um, through med school, learning everything they need to know um, to like do a procedure on me or something like that, right? But if you're just trying to start a business or make money online, that doesn't require a degree, okay? And just like, Going from there too, again, this is like kind of like a, like a rant or just kind of just like me like, like talking, but you don't, you don't need a degree to make money, right? You need a degree to get a job. And that's, that's the key difference I don't think people realize is that people assume degree equals money when in a way it, it's correlated, right? Like people who have higher degrees or people just with degrees tend to, you know, make more money than someone that just doesn't you know graduate high school doesn't go to college but the thing is that like you have to determine whether or not you're actually gonna like not get a degree and then read a shit ton of books like learn everything you can online about your industry become the best in your industry to actually like kind of like make up for that right because again a degree doesn't equal money okay a degree can sometimes equal a job which equals money okay but literally it's just knowledge what you actually learn and accumulate and use and execute that's what will actually turn into money if you apply it properly a space like especially in, in in the like creating your own business like industry right the space where you need to know stuff create something around what you know and what you can do and then become really, really good at it so that people see the value in it and you can make money or you can sell things online if you're a really good marketer. Like there's all that kind of stuff that you guys can learn, right? That you just don't learn in school because school teaches you things that you need to get a degree so that you can get a job, that you can do that job really well, right? You can you can be a really good whatever you're doing for your job, exceptionally well if you go to college and like get a degree for that specific industry, right? But if you're in if you're if you're if you're not interested in getting, you know, a job or working a job for for you know like mo a majority of your life then that's not something you know you, you'd be interested in, right? And so basically just the whole reason I didn't, or like I, I just didn't go to school is that I was like, I, again, you have to be honest with yourself, guys. Like if if you're lazy, if you're uncommitted, if, if you'd like, if you need someone to tell you what to research, what to do, what to like read, what to, you know, learn, then yeah, you might need to go to college just to get some knowledge. But if, if you're willing to, you know, spend hours and hours and hours a day researching, Googling, <laughs> reading books, um, you know, learning, making mistakes, failing a lot, um, doing everything you can just to learn more about the industry, then at that point you don't need college, right? Because again, college is there 
to help you learn. Okay, that's what college should be. Um, again, it's definitely changed a lot over the years. I think now it's just more about money and people who you know back up colleges and invest in colleges um, than just making returns on their investment and whatnot. But basically, right, that's the video. It's a bit of a rant, guys. I hope you guys learned something, um, you know, just about, you know, mindset and kind of like what you guys should be thinking, especially because I know a lot of my audience is younger individuals. And that's the video, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I love you guys' support. Don't forget to comment or respond to everybody's comments. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. We are doing basically a video day. I'm excited. If you haven't already, join the 0 to 1,000 wait list. Basically, me and my boy Sebastian. Um, we're taking a store to, uh, we're literally taking a store to 100,000 sales, but we're doing a super cool, like, w documentary walkthrough, um, completely free, right? Um, for, you know, for our OG, you know, YouTube fans, um, that, that are interested, right? So basically that is a completely free walkthrough of how we're getting our first thousand dollars in sales that you guys can join. Um, we will be actually charging for it later down the road, but like, we're, again, we're promoting this so much that everyone that's been with us from the beginning or that, you know, um, is like a subscriber, basically you guys can all get in for free. Um, that's just, that's, that's what we wanted to help you guys out. So that is the video guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. I switched my mic out. Um, let me know if you guys can you know, better quality, but that's the video, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace. And last but not least, don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates, giveaways, and literally everything that's cool.